Hi, so we're back with another video. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Candy Bear 2 level editor. So before I get started, I just want to warn you that if you do want to use the level editor, uh, you'll have to use the paid version of Candy Bear 2. Uh, it won't work with the free version of the game, so just keep that in mind. Um, so if you do want to use it and uh, you, you buy the paid version, uh, First thing you need to do is go to the website to download the editor. So the editor runs on your desktop computer or laptop and uh, you'll use it in conjunction with the Candy Bear 2 uh, program on the Roku. So uh, first thing you do is go to the kg-games.com website, go to Candy Bear 2 and select level editor and from there you can download the editor. So you can either download a Java jar version or an EXE version. So if you're on Windows, you can download the EXE version. Uh, any other platforms, you'll want to download the Java version. So I'm running on a Mac, so I'll just download the Java jar version. So I can click on that. Uh, also, one thing before I go on is uh, there are some tips here on this page. I won't go into all of them, but uh, if you do want to share your levels, there are some tips on uh, things you want to do. Okay, so anyway, so we clicked on the download link, uh, we'll keep it, and then we'll go to the finder and find it, and uh, when you try to run it, so in the Mac you'll just double click on it, um, but you'll probably get some warning like this saying uh, the Mac OS doesn't know what it, where it's from, so you'll have to go to your settings, so go to your system preferences, Go to uh, security and privacy, and then just say open anyway. Okay, and then say open. All right, so when you do that, you're gonna see the level editor. It'll look something like this, okay? So for those of you who saw the video on the ants level editor, it's very similar. Um, so we'll just go through the menus. So uh, once uh, you can, you know, file menu is pretty basic, you know, open, save, save as, quit. Uh, basically, the, the, when you save it, you'll save it as a text file. And uh, it'll keep track of all the files that you save or open. And so if you want to look at one of the levels you've already uh, saved, you can go to open recent. And you'll get a list of all your levels that you can select from. And we'll get back to that later too when we go to uh, the Candy Bear 2 program on the Roku. All right, so file menu, edit. Um, okay, so one of the first things you want to do is, well, actually before we do that, let's look at the size menu. So size menu, um, you can change the size of the window depending on you know how large your monitor is. You might want to use a small window, normal or large. Uh, the one I'm using right here is the normal size. If you do change the size, you'll have to exit the um, editor and then come back, uh, relaunch it. Uh, okay, so that's about maybe the first thing you want to do, and then after you do that, you'll have that size set and you won't have to change it anymore. Okay, so when you're creating a level, uh, the next thing you want to do is go to the edit menu and select uh, edit level width and bonus timer. And when you do that, you'll get something like this. So the width, so the standard uh, width of a level is 29 cells, um, but you can create uh, levels that are twice as wide, up to 58 cells. So you can change this once you start um, creating the level, but usually it's good to have an idea of where you want to start um, so you don't lose anything. Like, you know, if, if the, you start at 29 and then later decide you want to be wider, you can certainly change that to 40 and, or whatever, whatever value you want. And um, it'll, you know, just expand it and keep all the stuff you already have. Um, but if you decide you want to go smaller, you know, it'll delete anything you have on the right side. All right, so other things in here, uh, I guess we'll just get to here right now since we're here. Um, you can set the bonus timer and minutes and seconds. The default is uh, three minutes. Um, so you can, you know, usually what you'll do is you'll make your level, you'll test it, and then you'll decide later what the bonus timer should be, and then you can edit it here before you 
um, submit it. Okay, so that's that. Um, and then uh, another thing you can do in this menu here is you can say clear with blocks, for example. You'll just if you want to do a level with a lot of bricks, um, you can clear with solid blocks, which is the the metal. Uh, or if you want a ladder level with lots of ladders, you can do that. Uh, or bars, or uh, you can just clear it. Go back to the beginning. All right. So yeah, when you open up the level, uh, you'll just when you start with a fresh level, it'll just have the bear and the door, and that's it. Okay, uh, let's move on to. Uh, we don't really need. Well, we'll talk about tests. Uh, once you create a level, you may want to verify that it's okay. Um, so this is kind of somewhat experimental. I mean, it's somewhat useful. I, I we usually don't use it that much, but. If you try to verify this level right here, it'll tell you, hey, your level doesn't have any candy. Uh, every, every level has to have some candy, so it'll uh, tell you you can't do that. If you try to save it, I think it just won't let you. So um, you might want to use that, but you don't have to. Uh, help menu. Um, so the thing that you need to worry about here is the testing help menu. So when you go to your uh, Roku, you're going to have to enter your, your computer's IP address. If you don't know what it is, you can come here and it'll show you what it is. So this is um, my IP address, and it's your, your local IP address uh, for your local uh, network. So it's just you know internal to your, your home or apartment or wherever you are. Um, and when you enter it, make sure that you know if you have... So, uh, if you have a part of your IP address has like a single digit or two digits, you want to put the zeros in front when you enter them. So we'll, we'll get to that when we go to the Roku and enter that. Okay, that's pretty much it for the menus. Okay, so here is the um, playing uh, grid. And if you change the, uh, so right now it's just showing 29 cells because that was the size we, we chose. If you wanted a bigger one, uh, let's say say 35 for example then it'll expand okay now these uh, red lines here are just showing you the center uh, just in case you want to make a, a symmetrical level uh, just a guide to help you do that okay but the lines themselves don't actually do anything they're not lasers or anything um, so let's uh, let's just go back actually let's uh, It'll look nicer, I think, if we go with a wide level. Let's go for 58, the full width. Okay. So at the bottom are the different uh, items that you can put into the level. Uh, you can just click on them to select them. Say you want the bear to be over here. You can do that. Uh, the door, move there. Bar. And so, so a lot of these things you can just click and drag. Obviously, you can't really do that with the bear or the door, but most elements you can click and drag because you can put more of them on the on the playing field, uh, playing grid. Um, so these are all pretty much self-explanatory. So you just select anything you want and then put it onto the um, onto the playing grid. The letters help you uh, select these things if you want to use one hand on your mouse and another uh, on the keyboard. So if I press, so for example, there's a C, I press C, it'll jump to candy. And then I can cycle through the candies by just pressing C again and again and again and again. It'll just go through the different candies. So if I want to put down, say, red candy, I do that, and then blue, and then the two color candy, maybe a candy bar over here, I can do that. And so there's all these letters here that'll help you um, uh, in editing, so in, in switching your, your item. So M for mine, S for the spikes. Um, let's see, we'll just go through these. Spring, uh, the different keys, gates, one-way gates, portals. So remember when you're placing the portals, you need to put uh, two of each color uh, that you place. So you don't have to place all 12 portals, but if you do place a blue portal, then you're going to have to place another blue portal somewhere else. If you don't, then when you go to verify the level, it'll say, oh, you must have either zero or two portals of each color. So let's say we'll put a blue portal over there. Okay, so uh, next are the bunnies. 
So you'll notice uh, the bunnies look a little bit differently than they do in the actual game. Uh, we added these uh, colors to the feet uh, just so you can help. It's easier to tell them apart. So uh, this is the normal bunny. The one with the red feet is the scaredy bunny. So if you put it, let's say here, it's not going to fall off of this uh, ledge here. Uh, this, uh, the one with the blue feet is the smart bunny, so it will follow you around. Uh, so let's put a ladder here, so if you, if it sees you going up the ladder, it's going to uh, follow you. And this one with the uh, little stripes here, that's the fast bunny. Okay. Then you got the coins, uh, in order of lowest uh, points to highest, so the blue coin is the highest. Bronze is the least. Um, you got the lasers here, so there's a laser pointing up, laser pointing down, laser pointing to the left, and laser pointing to the right. Okay. Uh, shield, extra life, uh, the point multiplier star, and you have an eraser if you want to erase stuff. Uh, or uh, if you want to say erase um, the ladder, and you can just select the ladder and then you can just erase it like that. If you put ladder on something else, then it won't erase it, it'll just replace it with a ladder. Okay. Uh, so those are the different tools you can use. So you'll use this to create your level. Uh, you'll save it off uh, to some file. And then you're ready to test it. So we'll go over to the Roku and we'll pick it up from there. Okay, so we're on the Roku now. So you want to launch Candy Bear 2. And to uh, test your level, you go to Premium Levels. So uh, there was a recent update to Candy Bear 2. If you don't have the update yet, make sure you get it. Um, uh, it'll auto update, but uh, that might take up to a day. Uh, if you need to, if you don't see the same um, stuff we see here, then go to uh, find Candy Bear 2 on your home screen, press star, and you can select uh, check for updates, and it'll update to the latest version. So once you get the latest version, you'll see uh, premium levels, and then when you select that, you'll see something that looks like this. You'll see premium, community, personal, and create level. So the personal uh, levels is something we just added. So if you don't have the latest version, you won't see that yet. Um, so for those of you who haven't seen that, this, uh, this yet, premium levels are levels that we have added um, that are only available to users of the paid version of the app. Uh, community levels are levels that other people have created, and uh, so you can create one as well, and they'll go here. So right now there's only two in here, but there's more coming soon. Um, all right, we'll get to the personal levels, but first, um, Let's just go to create level. Once you go to create level, you'll want to go to editor settings and then enter in the IP address of your uh, your computer. Okay. And again, I mentioned you want to put the leading zeros in here if you have a, you know, a one or two digit part of your IP address. Okay. Once you do that, then you can go to test level. Okay, so here's a level we've, we've opened up with the level editor, and now we can see it and we can test it. So when you test the level, uh, you're given 19 bears, um, just so it's easier to, to solve the level. Um, of course, when users try to do it in the real game, they'll only have five if they start at that level. Uh, the bonus timer you'll see here is 1 minute 30 seconds. Um, after you play your level, you, you get, you'll get a feel for how long it should take, and then you can adjust it accordingly. So basically, you want to aim for for most levels. You want to aim for having 30 to 60 seconds left on your bonus timer. You know, if you do a good run, and you know, for better players, they'll do it faster. Um, but that's kind of a rule of thumb. Uh, let's see. So you know, once you once you're here, you can test level. And then, um, here, let me turn the sound down here so you get feedback. Uh, 
And if you make a change in your level, say you, you find you did something you didn't like, let's say you wanted to add, um, let's say we want to add a, well, we wouldn't want to do this, but let's say we wanted to add a bonus coin somewhere, let's say next to the bear at the start, we could do that. And then, um, so add a gold one. And then you press, uh, you can press the instant replay button if you have one on your remote. Or you can press back, and then you can say um, reload level. Okay, so there you'll see you'll see the the gold coin that we added. You, you can't see my desktop right now, but uh, that's what we did on the desktop computer. So as you're making changes, you can just um, you know do a reload level, or as I said, uh, just use the instant replay button, and it'll do the same thing. Um, let's see. What else? So once you have the level in a state where you like it and you want to share it, what you need to do is just play your level. And uh, here, let, let me let's let me make an easier level so it'll be easy for me to finish it. So I'm gonna uh, this level is gonna look ugly, but I'm just gonna get rid of a bunch of the candies and I'm gonna move the door just so you can see what it looks like. Uh, let's get rid of that too. Let's put the door. Sorry, you can't see this, but you'll see in a second. All right, here we go. I'm going to hit the reload button, or the instant replay button. Okay. So I got rid of all the stuff. Oh, I forgot about the portals. Let me get rid of the portals. All right. Time to go. Left all the candies. Oh, let me get rid of those too. Make it easy. Okay. Then cut these candies. In here, get that candy, and go to the door. Okay. So once you complete your level, you'll have uh, you know completion dialog here, and you'll have two buttons, share and exit. So if you think the level's in good, you know you're done with the level, and you want to share it with the community, uh, select share, and that'll send the level to us. And basically, we'll look at the level, and we'll uh, review it and moderate it. So. If it's something that we think uh, will be good to share with the community, then we'll add it to the community levels. Um, so this process might take a few days. Um, so be patient if uh, you know you don't see anything. You, you think the level should have been uh, released, then you can send a send us a message after a few days. Um, but keep in mind the the tips that we uh, showed in the website. I don't want to go over them line by line, but you should definitely take a look at those. Um, let's see, what else? So personal levels. So if you come here, select personal, then you'll be able to select all the levels that you've saved in your level editor. So here, these are all the levels that we've saved and, and uh, from the level editor, and we can select all those and play them from here. Um, we, we don't keep track of your scores here and you know you won't see the stars um, but you are able to play them um, pretty easily so and you get 19 lives okay so I just want to go over just a few of the different guidelines that we we uh, mentioned in the website um, there's some basic things like if you know if you add any bonus coins make sure they're actually possible don't don't add impossible bonus coins just to taunt the uh, the users the players um, and don't force the player to die to get a bonus coin um, uh, let's see uh, try not to make any levels that uh, are the same or similar to existing levels uh, you know after we make a lot of levels maybe that gets harder and harder but you know there's still a lot of room to, to innovate to do something unique um, the other thing is don't make, obviously don't make any crazy levels where, where they're super easy and they just rack up, you know, don't put like tons of like blue coins here, like, like this, for example. I mean, we're not going to release a level like this where you just rack up points and there's nothing to the level really. Um, so, um, take a look at all the guidelines. Like I said, I'm not going to go through them one by one, but, um, take a look and, if you follow them, that'll make it more likely that we'll accept your level and uh, release it. So we hope to uh, get more of your levels and uh, hope this will help you get started. All right, see you next time.